Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through history of AI guys. So basically, the computers started in the year 1941 guys. Whereas in the initial stages, it was really tough to do programming also. Fine. So there is nothing, no concepts of memory or storage or anything like that. They used to do programming and they used to get the outputs. That's it. So even that was really tough because they need to do everything. They need to do Basically, they will be connecting different different wires to do programming guys, not type by typing or executing, compiling. There are, there are no such concepts in that time, at that time. So way in back 1941, the initial computer, even to run a simple program, they need to do many connections. It is used to be a complex task to do. It is a nightmare to the designers. So basically, that those programs are nothing but those. You'll be calling it as like you'll be doing in basic electronics or any kind of labs you'll be connecting wires and you'll be getting the outputs right so in that way the pro the systems used to work guys so basically there will be many devices you will be connecting them and if you got one program you cannot use the same concept for other program you need to reconnect all the wires and you can you should connect them again in a proper way to your new program so in that way it used to be really a hectic complex job guys fine okay so in 1949 the game started guys so the storage came into play which made the job really easily guys okay so in 1950 we discussed about Alan Turing right so his uh, Turing test so he proposed it in 1950 guys 1950 Alan Turing proposed his concept how we can decide a machine is intelligent okay so in 1951 the first AI program has been returned guys the first AI based program was returned okay so in 1955 Games were developed, game playing, like chess and all those codes were returned, guys. Okay. In 1955, the first self-learning game playing, okay, that's I discussed. So in 1956, we introduced the language LISP. They introduced the language LISP. Okay. So that's a programming language which is used for artificial intelligence till day, guys. Today also, few will be using those, that language. So in 1959, MIT, a prestigious university, set an AI lab for its development and research guys okay in 1964 we saw the first demo of AI which understands the language so which can understand the language the first demo of Eliza was introduced or given so in 1965 the first chatbot Eliza was invented so we'll be discussing about the functionality and how Eliza works in our next lecture guys don't worry okay so it was introduced in the year 1965 Okay, so in 1974, the first autonomous vehicle was created. So, autonomous is nothing but auto, sorry, it's not autonomous, it's automated, guys, I have written it wrong. So, first automated vehicle was invented in Stanford AI lab, okay. So, in 1999, Sony introduced Ibo. I hope everyone knows about Ibo, guys, Drog Robo. Just go to Google and type, guys, you'll be just recognizing it. Because it's really popular, popular in news way long ago. And emotional AI concepts was proposed by MIT lab. So even emotional concepts have come into play in 1999. Our birth. Fine. Our birth year. It's completely. So in 2009, Google start, started building its self-driving cars. So basically the concept was introduced in 1965 and it started in 2009. See how much difference guys. Okay. In 2011, Siri, Google Assistant, Cortana and many other chatbots have come into play guys so chatbots the complete concept belongs to natural language processing as it will be discussing don't worry okay so further continuing so all these developments are exponential guys so if you observe the development of anything in the initial stages it will be really slow guys but once it gets the face it's going to develop in an exponential way rapidly so that's what happening with ai nowadays so I hope everyone got a small idea on the history. We have discussed only a few important points of history guys. So in the next lecture we will be going through the intelligent system and I will be discussing about Eliza guys. Thank you. Thanks for watching.